All right, folks, welcome back to another video over here in YouTube. Uh, I am Christian Lasso, and as I always mention, remember, I never study English learn by myself, so I'll try my best. In today's video, we're going to uh, to see a video we did actually that was in Santa Rosa de Cabal. That's a town nearby to Pereira where I live, and that's a coffee tour. I really, really like this tour. I really love that place because in that place they give me the opportunity to um, do the video absolutely 100% private. Basically, it was a coffee tour just for me and, and for for all the videos so thank you so much to Finca del Café if maybe you want the contact because also it's a hotel uh, you will have it here in the description of the video so let's see what we did in this coffee tour so that was Lucho uh, Lucho was uh, our local guide over there if you're going to Finca del Café you will have a local guide who is going to explain to you uh, all the coffee process so at the beginning of the coffee tour, you, you're going to be dressed like the, the typical dress. I mean, they're going to give you the hat, they're going to give you the poncho and the basket because eventually you're going to pick coffee because that's the idea. So I am mentioning about, um, I always use my creativity to find like sponsors. I think you realized that in the last videos. Um, so in that day, as I mentioned before, uh, it was the first place which it really believes in this project and is Finca del Café. So the idea of the coffee tour is learn all the process from the moment you plant uh, the beans of the coffee until the moment you roast it. So there is the nursery. Uh, the nursery is basically a sand of river. It's not soil because it's the soil is more compact. So they need a sand of river because like that the roots can be straight so the, the the probability to have high quality coffee is going to be higher so they they, they plant the seed um, which is the same coffee bean and after one month around one month you will have the first stage which is, which is the match actually you can see over there it looks like a match after it's going to open um, we're going to have like two two leaves the new leaves so in that stage it's called Chapola. Chapola is the name of a butterfly we have over here in the coffee region. So after the time they have in the, the first couple of leads, um, a few weeks later they move to these plastic bags. In that plastic bags we have 60% uh, compost and 40% uh, soil. Or the opposite, I don't remember well, but it's 60-40. And after in around six months, we are going to have that plant. That plant like that is called uh, Colino. A lot of farms, they, they don't do this kind of process. They go to another farms and they buy 2,000, 3,000, even 5,000 or more uh, Colinos. So around the world we have two different species of coffee, um, Arabica and Robusta. In Colombia with only 100% Arabica. It's actually not allowed to plant a Robusta in this country. So um, the coffee could be of course good quality coffee or bad quality coffee, but right now Lucho is showing us a fungus. That fungus is called Roja. So uh, what it does is basically stop the photosynthesis process into the leaves so the sunlight goes straight to the bit through the to the beans and uh, it burns basically so that's why it's bad quality coffee so i'm explaining over there about uh, a lot of people mix these kind of tours when you're spending maybe three or more days in the coffee region so you can go uh, to finlandia salento cocora which is videos we, we did before and also another day you can go to a coffee tour which coffee tour it depends about where you're staying at basically which uh, where is your hotel all right so for example uh finca del cafe is also a hotel and it has a coffee tour inside so it could be a good option
so very important if you want to go to a coffee tour number one mosquito repellent all right you're going to stay you're going to be in the middle of the coffee fields so mosquitoes could be uh, annoying uh, sunscreen of course but we are in Colombia, so you're going to need a rain jacket also. So mosquito repellent, sunglasses, sunscreen, but rain jacket or an umbrella, because you never know. Colombia is Colombia. So in that coffee tour, you have uh, different options i mean like how long the walk is going to be it could be one hour two even three hours so um the basket is actually to pick coffee i i forgot to, to pick coffee because i was recording so um they helped me actually the, I, I picked some beans that's absolutely very complicated the payment for the real uh, workers is per kilo is around 400 to 600 pesos per kilo so uh, it's a lot of work for not a lot of money so that's the color the the beans should be actually i picked a lot of green beans so lucho mega selection actually oh, I, there is three beans which are, are green so it has to be ripe beans ripe beans are red or are yellow, not other colors. So uh, we have 52 weeks in the year. You can have coffee for 50 weeks. Basically, we have weeks, uh, weeks, uh -huh. coffee all the year around. The other two weeks is for renovation of the fields. But the coffee has uh, two main harvest seasons. It depends on the region. It's, it could be between April and June or between uh, October and December. Two main harvest seasons. So um, I'm mentioning about how complicated it is be a coffee picker. They have to face the rain, the sun, the mosquitoes, poison caterpillars, uh, uh, also poison snakes, poison spiders. So that's a very, very hard job. So a lot of people ask about why is that expensive, the high quality coffee? It's a lot of job behind of, of a cup of coffee. So that's the, the interesting thing about the coffee tours, because after the coffee tour, you can really understand all the process which is behind of a cup of coffee. So the question over here is uh, about the basket. Uh, how, uh, how big is the basket about the quantity you can have about coffee? So the basket they use is, uh, is 10 kilos. And the basket he gave me, it makes three kilos of coffee. So basically it was like the child basket. So the productive life of a coffee uh, plant is uh, 20 years. That's productive life. It could stay alive much longer than that. So it's uh, alive for 20 years because they, they, they make a process which is called soca every five years. So uh, he's mentioning right now about the quality of the coffee is like the fingers. The first year is good. The second year is the best. The third one is, is uh, even better than that one and for from the third year it decreases of course well something like this all right so when it's the fifth year they just they just uh, prune the tree and it's going to have a new tree every five years until it's 20. so in that farm i really like it because they use all their artisanal way they use the old machines there's not a huge farm i think it's just around 14 um, hectares which is like um, around 30 or even more uh, acres. I'm not, good at, I'm not good at maths. So in that machine, basically what they do is uh, they split, uh, they remove the, the skin of the coffee and then you will have the skin and you will have the beans. In that case, uh, the skin of the coffee is going to be fermented for six months and they're going, they're going to use it as a compost. 
and the beans, well, it's, it goes through the process. So after they dry the coffee over there, we can see that's a, 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 a parabolic system. Over there, they dry the coffee uh, by sun. In a lot of farms, they dry by silos, which is like an oven. So over there, uh, they dry the coffee by sun. So they, they basically, uh, that coffee has been washed and fermented in water. So uh, they need to decrease all the humidity inside of the coffee bean. So I'm asking about if it's true or not in Colombia, we really drink the bad quality coffee? Yes. And the reason is because of the price. Bad quality coffee, I mean, that's called pasilla. 500 grams of bad quality coffee is going to be around um, two or three US dollars. Um, the same 500 grams of high quality coffee is going to be made between eight or 15 dollars in pesos. That's a huge uh, difference. So that's why in Colombia we have the, one of the best quality coffees in the world, but the Colombian people drink the worst quality coffee. So it's true, um, a lot of coffee, mostly all the Colombian coffee is exported to a lot of countries. Actually in uh, Europe is mostly Germany. But it's because it's, it's, it's a business, you know, if the people is not going to buy uh, the high quality coffee because they find it very expensive and for them it's easier buy bad quality coffee buy sugar, and buy sugar and then mix it. Uh, well, the National Federation of Colombian Coffee Growers are going to export it. So it's, it's a business. Over there, they are uh, roasting the coffee in the artisanal way. We can see the, the kitchen, the wood they use in the kitchen is the same wood from the coffee plants. She's uh, grounding the coffee. All this, as I mentioned before, is manual. They don't use machines. Well, well, something you have to know is I don't drink coffee. Nobody in my family drinks coffee, so um, I did it for the video. I tried, but I really don't drink coffee or anything with coffee. So uh, he didn't mention it was too hot, but it was. But something the experts said is uh, the good coffee doesn't need sugar and the bad coffee doesn't deserve it. So I sipped twice. That was like my maximum in, in that day or maybe in that year. I will say I don't drink coffee because of my age, but I'm trying to find an excuse about because everybody's going to ask me about why you don't drink coffee. It's just I don't like it and that's it. So over there we can see about all the work which is behind of a cup of coffee. Actually, um, it's a long process. A lot of farms, they don't have all the money enough like to have all the, the machines or all the, the, the facilities to uh, do their own process. So it's uh, very complicated, but they, uh, we invite you to uh, enjoy this experience by yourself. All right, folks, and that's it. This is uh, a coffee tour we did uh, in Finca del Café. Again, thank you so much for think, uh, to Finca del Café because uh, they believe in this project. Um, the idea is invite to all of you to come here to enjoy a good coffee tour, to enjoy a good cup of coffee, 
Uh, I know I mentioned I don't like it, but it doesn't mean it's not good. It means I just don't like it. So um, I hope you enjoyed. Remember, uh, give a like on the video, subscribe to the channel because we're going to continue uploading uh, more videos. And um, I would like to read your comments here below. See you in another video. Thank you.